Hello and welcome to this tutorial. As you're aware, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus outbreak, we've decided to take all of our classes online so that we can stay safe at home, but also follow with our lessons. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can download Unreal Engine 4 so we can continue with our projects. First, you need to go online. You can use Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or any browser that you use um, to go online and use the internet. I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Google Chrome on my computer. Next, in Google, you want to search for Unreal Engine. Press Enter. You will notice the first website says unrealengine.com. Go ahead and click on that link. Once you're in the Unreal Engine website, on the top right of the screen, you will see there's a big blue button that says download. Go ahead and click on that. It'll then direct you to this page where it asks you to choose a license. For the sake of our video tutorials, it really doesn't matter whether you go with a publishing license or a creator's license. Um, publishing license means that as soon as you create something, uh, if you want to sell it, you're allowed to do that. Um, the creator's license means um, what you create, you won't be able to sell. Um, either way, neither of these makes any difference to our workflow. Um, if you think that it's only for education and you only want to use it to learn, then you can use uh, the students and educators web um, sort of license, which is a creator's license. Or if you think that maybe in the future I'm going to create something to sell, you can go with the publishing license. Personally, I'm going to go with publishing license because um, I create things to sell online. Either way, it's free of charge. There's absolutely uh, no cost involved. Um, the only thing about publishing license is once you start selling your products, uh, Unreal or Epic, they will take 5% of your earnings um, for your in, any games you might make or um, any money you might make from selling those games. So uh, publishing license is completely free. Creator's license is completely free. Uh, you can see that it says get started for free here and it also says free to use on this side. So whichever one you use, it makes absolutely no difference for our um, tutorials or our lessons. Both of these will work absolutely fine. I'm going to go with publishing license because I often create things to sell later on. But if you just want to use it to learn, you can go ahead and choose um, the creator's license. Once you click on that button, it'll ask you to log in. Um, then it will bring you to this page where you can go ahead and uh, log into your Epics account. If you don't have an Epics account, that's not a problem at all. Down here it says, don't have an Epic Games account, sign up. If you have an email address, you can use that. If you don't, then uh, you might ask one of your parents um, to come and help you to uh, sort of let you borrow their email address so you can sign up um, onto the um, Epic account. Um, I already have an account, so I don't need to sign up. If you don't have one, click this sign up button, then it'll basically give you, let me show you that, it'll give you uh, this list uh, where you put your, well, the country is United Kingdom, then you put your first name, last name, and then you will um, have your um, display name, um, email address, passwords, etc. You click on create account. They will ask you to confirm your um, email address um, on your inbox. So uh, you just do that usual things to create your account. But I already have an account. So once you've created an account, if you don't have one, you want to come back into uh, this link and you want to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. As soon as you have logged in, you will notice that on the um, on your Google Chrome or any browser you're downloading, uh, you're using, it will download your um, file for you. So um, once it has downloaded this tiny little program onto your computer, go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on install and message might pop up. So you might want to click yes. 
um, and then you will wait for it to do its thing. Um, there's going to be a sort of a few bars going to the right and it's going to do its thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip forward here until the whole thing is uh, finished. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, close our Google Chrome. We don't need that anymore. So it's just going to do a bunch of stuff um, and um, uh, we're going to fast forward this. Once it's downloaded and installed, the Epic Games Launcher will automatically um, open. So it will ask you to log in. Uh, you want to make sure that you log in with the same account that you used um, when you signed up to the Epic uh, Games account. So I'm going to go ahead and put my details in there again. Again, it might ask me for my two server verification. Oh, no, it didn't. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We're in. Very good. Excellent. So this is a games epics launcher. Um, so sorry, the epics games launcher. Um, so what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and download Unreal Engine. So on the left hand side, make sure that you have the Unreal Engine menu selected. Then again, at the very top, you want to go in here and go to library first, even though I know that there might be an install option for you at the top right. Don't click on that. Uh, go to library. You can see at this stage that I already have a number of different um, uh, versions of the engine installed on my computer. Um, you will not have any of these if you've never downloaded Unreal Engine before. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can download the version we need to work with our projects. We are going to be using with 4.15, but of course you won't be seeing this on your computer. What you want to do is there's a plus sign here that says Unreal, uh, sorry, engine version. Go ahead and click on this um, orange icon, the plus sign, and it will then create this grayed out um, icon for you. Um, to choose from, of course, yours because you don't have all these um, different icons. Yours will be here somewhere. Um, then you want to go ahead and click on this drop down menu that it gives to you. The versions we are using is 4.15, 4.15. Now you can notice that um, in my case, um, I don't have 4.15 because I have already installed that on my computer. But you will see that uh, for you between 4.14 and 4.16, you will have another option uh, that says 4.15. You want to go ahead and choose that. Um, just to show you how this works, I'm going to choose 4.16, but make sure you get 4.15, not 4.16. You want to get this one. This is the one that you want to have, but um, I don't have the option here because um, I am using, um, I already have it installed. So yours will say 4.15. Then all you do is you click install and then it will give you this little um, window as to where you, want to, where you want to save it. Then you just click on install and then it'll uh, go ahead and do its thing and it will start uh, installing it for you. Just make sure you install 4.15 because all of our projects are using 4.15. Now Unreal Engine, uh, as you may be aware, is a, um, a very popular game engine. Um, a lot of games were made using Unreal Engine such as Borderlands, Star Wars, uh, Batman, uh, Rocket League, Fortnite. So it is a very powerful engine and it is quite big so um, you'll just have to wait for it to install once it's finished installing then um, you can after that follow along with the rest of the tutorials all we all will be sending you uh, very shortly so hopefully on your case this won't say 4.16 it must say 4.15 but just to show you how to install it i'm doing it with 4.16 because i already have 4.15 installed um, you just have to Make sure that your computer stays on, your computer stays connected to the internet, and you just want to make sure that you wait until this um, keeps on going and finishes uh, installing. If you have any problems, get in touch with us, and we will help you out to the best of our ability. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.